Hey guys, first off, I wanted to say a huge, massive thank you for all of your support thus far. Having you guys here working out with me truly means so much to me and also some of the results I have seen and heard about from you guys through comments, the DMs, it really, really inspires me to keep going and I'm just really, really grateful to have such an amazing group and an amazing community here on YouTube. So I just wanted to say a huge thank you and let's keep it going guys. Without further ado, let's get into today's workout. All right, today's workout is a 10 minute oblique focused workout. You will need some form of weight. Today I'm using a 15 pound kettlebell. You don't necessarily need a weight, but it is going to increase the intensity on some of the exercises. So just use what you have available. We are first going to start off on the ground, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Just like you guys are used to, you're gonna bring one leg in to your chest, bring it across to your opposite elbow, to the other elbow, across, and back out. Here we go, we're gonna switch legs. So bring it into your chest, across, elbow, cross, out. Keep that body in one straight line. down here on the ground, you're going to come to one side, we're going to do 45 seconds on each side. You're going to lay down and we're just going to do some side crunches. So these are nice and easy, but I want you to focus on squeezing, lifting that leg, squeezing, holding, and lower, and up, squeeze, and lower, and right back up. Try to sit just a little bit back on that hip. You don't want to be too far forward. You want to be back a little bit so that you're actually using those abdominal muscles and not just your glute. It might help you to hold a finger here so you know where you should be squeezing. To a plank position on our hands. You're going to do some hip dips, but on your hands. You're going to come down. You can slightly bend those elbows and up, other side and up. Really keep that core nice and tight. If you're not totally feeling it in this position, you can't really grasp this. Exercise, I want you to come down to your elbows and just do some regular hip dips down there. Your final words on a piece of paper. 
All right, we're gonna stand up. You can also do this on your knees, but I'm gonna stand up. You're gonna need your weight. This is where your weight's gonna come in. We're just gonna do some oblique side dips with the weight. So have the weight slightly in front of you, not directly beside you. You're gonna lean down and squeeze. Again, it might help you to have some fingers there so that you know where you're squeezing. Really tight core. Your core should be engaged the whole time throughout the whole movement. Continuing on with the weight, we're going to sit down. You're going to do a Russian twist. So the weight's going to be down on the ground on one side. You're going to bring it to the other side, drop it. You're going to do an ab in and out with your knees to one side. So bring it over, twist, out and in. Over, out, in.
Nice. All right, last exercise of this routine. We're gonna come down on our backs and we're just gonna do some heel taps. Again, very easy exercise. I want you to focus on keeping those shoulder blades off the floor. Don't put any strain on your neck. And really twist. Try and touch your toes instead of your ankles or your heels. Really reach. workout to pair with another ab workout just to really fire up those obliques. I will also link in the description some workout videos to pair with this one that make a really great combo if you're looking to do something a little bit extra today. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, thank you guys so much for your support. It really means a lot to me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if you're new here hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another workout from me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.